Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing a garden harvest today. Not a vlog, just a little harvest with you. I'm trying to sneak in these little standalone videos because we all know that I love my vlogs. Here's what the garden's looking like today. And we will definitely be able to harvest at least one cucumber, some green beans, maybe a tomato or two. I need to find like a cute little wicker basket for when I do my harvests as they become like more and more plentiful. I follow this person on TikTok and Instagram and I think it's called Red Leaf Ranch and they, I'm trying to like find my light right now. They have just like huge baskets and they'll just be all full of like different colored peppers and tomatoes and it just makes me happy and I definitely need one of those. For now, I'll just throw them into my tote. <laughs> the flies are circling my head in the garden so I need to use my latest purchase. Can you where can you see it? Oh no, there it is. So it's a little dragonfly. And it deters the flies, specifically horse flies from messing with you. We've got a couple cucumbers on here. I I can definitely harvest at least one today, if not two. There's another one right back there that looks pretty large as well. And I almost feel like I've harvested two of these so far. I almost feel like I could harvest them like a day or two earlier. So I might honestly take both of these because they're starting to get like the stripes at the bottom. And that's pretty much when I harvested the other ones, maybe a couple days after they started getting those. I'm telling you, this thing might look ridiculous, but it actually works. The second I put it on, I no longer can hear them buzzing around my head. I will definitely have it linked. In the description i've been trying to link just like things that i've bought from amazon that appear in the video i'll try to link them in the description of my videos so sorry i can feel like little singular strands of hair touching my eyelashes but i always try to link those things in the video descriptions oh let's check out the big tomatoes they look so good i might be able to take one or two that are like this one's like pretty much all orange it would definitely ripen up on the counter, it's very red on the bottom. So I feel like I can maybe take these two. Look at the strawberries. I feel like it's taken so long. Is it okay that they're touching the ground? I think it's okay they're touching the ground. Hopefully, we'll find out. Lots of flowers on there too. I feel like I always love the lighting when it's like really bright out, but I'm wearing a hat. That kind of just gives me shade on my face. Look at, look at this lighting right now. Got the tripod so I can set you all up for the little harvest. Okay. I want this one. And... I'm on the fence with this one. Let's see if it comes off easily, I'll take it. I'm taking it. <laughs> Look at these. All right, here's one of my three green bean plants. You can see a ton in there that look pretty much ready. Okay, let's take this guy. Try not to hurt the other one on there. Take this guy. Sometimes they kind of blend in, just like the stalks. Ah, the dragonfly keeps getting stuck. I think this one could go. We got seven off of this plant. We got nine from this plant. All right, here's that third plant. This one I picked the most off of the other day, so I'm not sure how many I'll get from it. That one I can definitely take, but let's see. Ooh, might be the longest one yet. Grabbed three from the third plants. There might be a couple more I could have taken, but we'll let them go for a couple more days because this is definitely enough for dinner tonight now. And lastly, 
I'm gonna take this one. This will definitely ripen on the counter. Um, yeah, this one too. Can definitely ripen. Oh my god, that's a funny shape. What about this one? Eh, that one I could leave another day. This one, that one. Yeah, this is like the only other contender. But I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna grab these two. Alrighty, our harvest is complete. Honestly, it may not look like a big harvest to some, but this is this is pretty insane for me. Especially the three full-size cucumbers, like enough green beans for two servings at dinner, and then I'll do something with those tomatoes in a couple of days. But let me just show you a quick few other updates. Our mystery volunteer plant is still going strong. It's got male flowers popping up, so hopefully some female flowers will show up in the next couple of weeks and we'll know if it's a zucchini or a squash. I would say this corn is like three feet tall. I have three different zucchini plants. This one is starting to get tons of zucchini on it. There's one here, one here, one here, one here. Here's the second zucchini plant. You can see you got one right there. Another zucchini on that one. A few other little baby ones over here. Like there's actually two right there. And then this is the biggest zucchini plant. All right, so this biggest one has a ton. You can obviously see this big one right here that already has kind of like the skin color and texture on the vegetable that you kind of see when you grab them in the grocery store. Um, you can see there's another one below this flower right here. Right below that branch is one. And then there's another two over here. There's one right here. And then that one right there. So this one's got at least five growing on it that I can see. Here's my cayenne pepper. And then there's another, there's another little one up here as well. And then in there you can see a fairly large um, Italian sweet pepper. Let's see how large that guy's getting. But that will be red, so once it starts turning, we'll be able to harvest it. I have no idea how long that will take. Jalapenos. I think there's a, yeah, there's another baby one right there. And then, this plant seems to have like five or six of them growing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can also see more flowers just forming. So there will definitely be more as well. Okay, that's pretty much my harvest and my little garden updates. Now I need to decide if I wanna jump into the pool really quick. I feel like I should. Okay, now the question is, do I wanna go underwater and my hair will be back to straight? It has like a slight, slight wave to it from just like sleeping in braids. And I really like it. But I also kinda wanna go underwater. We're gonna savor the hair. <laughs> just a floating head. Okay, I'm gonna end this video off with me just jumping into the pool and enjoying it for a few minutes. And I've got my little lifeguard right behind me. But thanks for watching. I'll have my socials linked in the description as well as a few random like Amazon things. And follow my Instagram, Sasha Hippie, for daily updates. Okay, bye. I'm gonna save my hair, but I got splashed, so I might just go on there.